Well, I'm doing this video a little backwards. Um, it's a Monarch 10 EE. It's a 1953 model, and it's a motor generator unit. And I've been having a problem when I uh, engage the spindle and shut it back off that the machine won't operate. Come back a little later and it works. Well, there's a device called an AP switch, anti-plugging switch, and um, I found it. Uh, you're gonna see the rest of the video here. I'm kind this of this is the back of my uh, 10 E, and uh, I've had a problem where the unit will, uh, when shifted to run the spindle, it runs, and then sh if I shut it off, it won't run. Uh, disengage the spindle and go back in, and uh, put some light on the subject here. So I think uh, through some help, um, Monarch's uh, service tech, I wrote back and forth to him, and he said, I think it's a sticky AP switch. And then I talked to uh, my friend Alex that uh, really knows these machines, and uh, he gave me a little hint on how to look at it in diagnostics. And... Uh, if all else fails, I got my buddy Carl uh, here to help me also. Um, I thought I would try to do a little, little uh, work first and see what I could figure out. Let's see if I can hang the, the trouble light here and still have light on the subject. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so let me fire up the machine. You're crooked. Okay. Let's fire up. This is the AP switch here, and so uh, let me fire it up. I'm hoping by uh, showing this, it may help other 10 E owners uh, if they happen to have a problem. So. Get the machine up and running. I've got the rheostat on the RPM set all the way to low, and I'll engage the spindle. You can see the contactors closed there. The machine's running, and if I was to disengage the spindle, it'll start back up again. Not a problem. Now, if once I increase the RPM of the machine, you can watch this contactor engage. There, it just moved. So now, if I take it out of gear, notice that that guy stayed engaged, and as I move, I have no spindle control. Still nothing, because it hasn't disengaged. Give it a little tap. Just disengage and she runs. Stay engaged. Nothing working. Oh, she just popped on her own. I got it. Just popped again. So, what the monarch guy told me, a sticky AP switch, and that's what it looks like. So uh, let me uh, do a little more homework and see how I resolve that. There is a spring there. I think I can just maybe tighten the spring a little bit and uh, should pull back on the contact and not have an issue. Let me grab the camera. I've got, I think I've got it repaired right now without disassembly of anything. Uh, so let me move the camera. We'll go handheld here. And what I did, hopefully this is in focus, but there's an adjustment here, and so I basically tightened this screw up. And so right now the machine's operating uh, as it's designed, and uh, we'll see. Now in doing some reading, sometimes this can have a magnetism problem, where you have to take it apart and demag it a little bit. Um, but so far right now, just a little adjustment on the spring and it's working fine. So anyway, I hope that's uh, helped for anybody that uh, has a 10, uh, 10 EE and might be having the same issue. Uh, I found a lot of literature on it on Practical Machinist also.